Anderson, known for his award-winning role in Baskets, has died after being diagnosed with cancer. He was 68. Anderson died at a hospital in Las Vegas of complications from cancer, said Glenn Schwartz, his longtime publicist. Anderson had a type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, Schwartz said in a previous Tuesday statement. The St. Paul, Minnesota native won a 2016 Emmy for Best Supporting Actor for his unlikely role in the comedy Baskets as Christine Baskets, mom to twin sons played by Zach Galifianakis. Anderson received three consecutive Emmy nods for his performance. Anderson's comedic debut started on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson where the comedian did his first TV stand-up routine in 1984. Has been a familiar face elsewhere on TV, including as host of a revival of the game show Family Feud from 1999 to 2002, and on comedy specials and made frequent late-night talk show appearances. In his role on Baskets Anderson told USA Today in 2017 had been training to play the gender-switching role after incorporating the memory of his mother, Orazella Anderson, into his stand-up hacks. Baskets star Louis Anderson battling cancer, hospitalized for treatment. My goal is that when you watch me, you might say, that's Louis Anderson, but within a few minutes I completely disappear and Christine completely emerges, he said of his award-winning role. Actor and comedian Pauly Shore tweeted about Anderson's declining health Thursday on Twitter after visiting him in the hospital. I say this with a heavy heart just left the hospital in Las Vegas where Louis Anderson his sisters and close friend were kind enough to let me say my goodbyes, he wrote. Anderson voiced an animated version of himself as a kid in life with Louis. He created the cartoon series, which first aired in prime time in late 1994 before moving to Saturday morning for its 1995-98 run. Anderson won two Daytime Emmy Awards for the role. The comedian made many series cameos throughout his career including Scrubs and Touched by an Angel, and he appeared on the big screen in 1988's Coming to America and in last year's sequel to the Eddie Murphy comedy. Contributing, Bill Cavini, USA Today, The Associated Press